I do not respect any of these investigations from the Mueller report to the impeachment. It's all political gamesmanship. Okay. And here's the reason I say that, because since Democrats are in charge of the House, the only people investigated would be Republicans and Trump. That makes it a bogus thing to me. They're not seeking truth. They are seeking power and nothing else. Let's review. So we start with the Bidens and this Ukraine, China, who knows how many other messes. When Joe was vice president, his son Hunter took full advantage and made gazillions of dollars of these foreign countries. But the New York Times told us no need to investigate. There's nothing there. Remember the Mueller report? A couple of things happened there that I'm still disgusted with. So first, you have this evil man by the name of Paul Manafort. Thank God he's going to prison the rest of his life. His crime His lobbyist firm did some consulting work with Ukraine years ago. Now, what people don't know is that there was another lobbyist firm partnered with him in that. It was called the Podesta Group, which was owned by John and Tony Podesta. John was the campaign manager for the Clinton campaign in 2016. And listen to this, Tony, he was given immunity. So no investigation of him or the Podesta Group to testify against Manafort. And by the way, it's kind of funny. He resigned his position and they did away with the Podesta group during the Mueller investigation. Get everything out of there quickly. Then you had another terrible thing with Mike Flynn. Here's another evil man. Gave 35 years to the military, a general, hero, doesn't matter. He picked up the phone and during the transition period, he had a conversation with Sergey Kislyak. I know. How does it get worse than that? Now, Kislyak was ambassador from Russia to the United States. But here's the thing. His office was in Washington, D.C. His entire existence was to influence American politicians. So if he is such an evil person, Kislyak, that is, why would you not get his calendar? Who else was he talking to on the phone? I bet there was a string of Democrats, but hey, nothing there to be concerned about. Then you have the whole thing when Hillary was Secretary of State, my gosh, the Uranium One deal her and Obama signed off on, giving Russia control of 20% of all the uranium produced in the United States. Yeah, the Clinton Foundation, my gosh, while she was Secretary of State, tens of millions of dollars flowed to their private foundation from foreign countries. And there's no need to investigate because they were all giving out of the goodness of their hearts. It wasn't about influence. How about Bill Clinton getting paid $500,000 to give one speech in the heart of Moscow to a bunch of oligarchs while she was Secretary of State? I mean, I can't even get into all the server stuff. Hillary's private server, you know, Podesta getting hacked, the DNC server being hacked. And how do we know it's Russians? Not because the FBI investigated, because they didn't. They didn't touch it. Democrats hired a private firm. So now we know it's the Russians. Tell me why I should respect one drop of this.